I know there's a lot of people that are, you know, coming to Bar Lily, coming to Swords of Legends, and they don't really know um, the right stuff to run, particularly for PvP or how they, you know, you know, should be going about Bard. So we're just gonna do a quick little skill overview. Um, auto water is gonna be, or auto water is gonna be our, you know, basic spam ability. See just below here. Nice. Also gives you a proc of flowing music. Is going to give you insta cast for your Black River Dragon song, which is essentially one of your finishers. As I'm gonna see here, Fossil Dragon. Um, essentially, yeah, like a, it works as your finisher. Um, Fire Song is going to enhance the damage of Black River Dragon Song, as well as you know reduce target movement speed. So it's really good in arenas to get that you know quick little slow if you're swapping targets for your melee. Um, you can see that here. Oops, sorry. Um, see here. Sometimes procs Dragon Song you can go off instantly when you cast it, but. You can see down here, um, Fire Song, yeah. Alright, moving on to Note Melody. Uh, this is going to be your your big damage. Um, basically, Note Melody um, is going to be a Frenzy slash explosion. So you see it's a little Frenzy here, and then there's a big pop. Um, how it kind of works is, as a bard, um, on our little meter down here, we generate Sono Fano time that we cast um, Dragon, Dragon um, Song and Autumn so we cast them off, we get some Sono Notes, um, we cast them, we get some Fano Yep, so if you cast Angry Thunderclaps, you can generate your Fano Notes, and then you could you cast Note Melody, and then if you have, you know, your, your four stacks, that'd be really big damage comboing the two. Um, moving on, the next ability is Desert Ice. Um, it's like a traditional WoW Mage. Freeze the floor, gives you an extra dodge. Um, really useful for, you know, high mobility as well as, you know, you get your dodge double tapping or using shift. Next ability is me Angry Thunderclap. Yeah, that was the one I just showed you with the Thunderstorm. Um, that's going to give you immediately three Fa notes and So notes, so it's going to increase your damage by your note melody by 30% and give you some soul, uh, spell force back. And this is going to be another main part of your burst because it triggers that thunder ability to go off. So when you have enemies that are clumped up in a certain area, when you cast your note melody and you have your burst up, when you cast Dragon Song, it's going to do a massive AoE proc and you'll see lightning come down. We'll do the rotation in a minute. Um, Epic Mirror Heart is basically going to be the another part, main mechanic of your burst. Basically going to be your 20 second cooldown. Um, this you can actually cycle between three different elements, water, fire, and thunder. Water is going to slow all your enemies down within three meters every time you hit them with one of your damaging abilities. Uh, the fire is going to cause obviously more AoE, and then the lightning is going to extend basically your lightning state. Um, which is, you know, going to help your haste, and it's going to basically have the same effect as Angry Thunderclap, which is very, very powerful comboing that you're almost guaranteed to get the, those lightning procs off um, and deal massive amounts of AoE damage, which is something Bard definitely specializes in. Um, this is the passive ability for that flowing music. That's your stacks that you generate from Autumn Water. You can see here. We'll go in the what come flag is. Um, Snow Memorial is going to be your ice block. Um, cool thing about Ice Bard is if, you know, when you get kill shotted, you actually pop this and you have a five five minute cooldown on it, which I'll show down here when we go over the Astral Blessings. Um, five Spirits Formation is basically just damage reduction. Can't be interrupted. This little cool circle down here. Ice Melody is going to be one of your CCs and it's going to be one of your CC immunities. Uh, shoot it off here, your target should turn into a little ice. Not a nice block, but they'll have like a snow covering on them like they've been frosted over. Uh, very, very handy. Uh, Gentle Thunder is just going to be your typical CC immunity, your CC break. Um, mine for Bard increases movement speed by 15%. Um, you can also stack a glyph that makes it so at the end of that duration it does a little stun, which we'll go over in the glyphs down here. Uh, quick notes is going to be so you can cast on the run. Um, very handy. 
It's pretty simple. You get two stacks of it. Um, it's going to minute cooldown. So use it wisely. All right. And rupturing starfire. That's going to be your interrupt and stun. Um, and come on here so you get an interrupt. And it'll pop up with a golden title, and then that'll be your stun. If you miss the interrupt on them, another useful tool. Uh, the bard also has some support buffs, so down here, you can drop this thing called an oven of life. It's just going to increase everybody's total HP by 6%. So people will love you if you drop this. If you don't drop this, you're going to think you're an idiot. Um, so. Alright, the yin and yang. This basically, if you break, so if you ever cast the note melody and you hear the chink noise um the golden shield when you click somebody they're gonna have a little golden bar when that breaks um use this you're gonna get a little increase in damage um and pvp blade echo um this this is not usable in pvp so you just don't even worry about it oops um well on to the astral blessing so horror frost city for ice bards um is gonna be your thing if you take double brightness it's gonna switch everything to fire so you're gonna stay on horror frost uh, it's gonna increase your haste by eight percent um you know increase damage for frosted targets whenever you're casting on them and then down here where it says if you're fatally wounded you're immune to heavy damage that's your second ice block that you get which is very nice to have so bards basically have two ice blocks and people complain about it because they have a lot in their toolkit but um it is what it is for right now until they get tuned up or tuned down so for PvP, you are going to take 5 spirit damage spell, um, because this real, the spell Transcendence doesn't really do much, it just gives you another, it, it adds another stack of that um, flowing music for you and basically will increase your speed for as that spec goes up, but it doesn't really help you all that much for PvP. Um, but in terms of this, you know, you're going to get increased crit if you're in the fire spec. Um, and then in the frost spec, uh, targets from fire song receive two stacks of black river seal which is that um the dragon that randomly procs which so this is really strong to get extra procs of black river dragon song um this one kind of go either or i i take bring the wind i think bring the wind you just in general has a lot more mo mobility but oblique is when casting note melody the damage for each fano increased 20 percent and the spell force uh restored increased by 80 percent um and then for Bring the Wind, it's performing note melody. Extra effects are created depending on the number of fa notes, so notes used. The number of fa notes are used more than so notes. Each additional note restores 3% HP, which again makes it a little more tanky. When the difference of the numbers is 3, the damage increases by 10%. So again, you get that, you still have that standard 10% increase. Um, even though you get the 20 over here, it's going to offset because you're getting a little bit more tanky. Um, and then if more sonotes are used, uh, causes a freeze effect, which again is an extra CC for you that you do not have to cast. Um, and then you get an increased 6% damage when you have more than three notes, which is what you're going to get when you use your uh, Angry Thunderclap or Thundering Sky effect. And if the same number of, <coughs> if the same number of so and notes are used, uh, the note melody cooldown is reduced two seconds, uh, which is again very handy and you get a massive damage increase uh, reducing this cooldown is pretty key because you can cast it more often as bards are basically spamming this non-stop and you know the more you do this with the more group of people you're going to do more damage um so dancing notes for your fourth astral blessing actually is probably going to make you do a little bit more damage but it's not going to make you as tanky um if you're in the fire or if you're in the fire spec it's going to give you again more crit um and then if you're in the frost spec, a critical hit with the main target gives you another stack of that Black River effect. So you know, the Dragon Song goes on again. Um, and your target can enter another Frozen State. So if you want to pick up an extra CC, you can go with that. Um, I, if you're facing melee comps in Arena, I totally would not run this. If you're facing more of a ranged comp, I would say you could probably run Dancing Notes. Um, but all in all, you're still probably going to want to stay on unwise just for the uh if you're interrupted during an action if you're in sound state you know you're getting damage damage reduce you know damage reductions pretty key in pvp but like i said it's going to be all on your preference um yeah 
the slight damage you actually do have a slight damage reduction taking this but um, it's worth it. Mo most of the top bards are, are running this just because, you know, as a bard you're going to take massive amounts of damage. People people will hate you. Um, if you're running a Thunder build, which we uh, will show you in a minute, um, the Ice Thunder version, uh, you could take this. But in PvP, again, you're just going to you're gonna go with Wise Attitude and all in all. And this is going to increase the, um, the effect of Lightning State, which is going to make that Thunder effect go off again. And then we're on to the last one. Um, there has been a debate between between these three, and I think it's going to come down to preference. Um, if you're running if you're running more of a mastery build um, versus haste, I would say you could take this because you get increased the damage of no melody, and it, you can get ma you you could this is where you can almost create your one shots. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Grants two sacks by melody, um, and ego is your CC immunity. Um, no melody also has no cooldown whenever you have that immunity up, which is pretty nice. So you can have massive amounts of DPS from this. Um, Lightning Bolt, so when you cast um, Angry Thunder and Clap, uh, basically there's going to be a second ability that pops up. Swap, swap here. So this is basically just another shot, so you can add this into your combo. You can see it has a hit for, you know, 600. If you were gonna you know, rope that into this one, right? Turn on lightning state, which would be this one. And your you know, rotation would look somewhat like that. You'd actually want to use thunder from eight directions after no melody. Um, you know, see, more damage combos better. Alright, on to. Uh, Pentatomic Harmony, which is the one um, I used. I was swapping back and forth. I still feel like I did more damage, but I actually find this to be um, more useful in the sense I can cast No Melody a lot more. So, Pentatomic Harmony, uh, the cooldown of Ice Melody is reduced to 30 seconds, which is really nice. Um, increases the spell force and HP regeneration from No Melody, which, again, you're going to be casting it more often, which is really nice. Uh, reducing the cast time of No Melody. Um, Again, is good while its damage is increased by 40%. And then this is the key part. Um, in PvP, the damage of Thundering Sky increases by 200%. So that's really, really big. Um, again, you're going to get that effect from using Angry Thunderclap and Epic Mirror Heart. Because remember, Epic Mirror Heart, you can you know, flow between the flame state, that's your AoE, your frost state, that's going to be like your slows. So if you're in arenas, you're probably going to use your slow a little more. Um, but in like BGs and 10 on 10s, you're going to be using that, um, and boy, you're going to be using most likely the lightning state because that's going to give you your best amount of, um, AOE. So that's, that's kind of for ice bard in this part. So rolling into the glyphs. So gong, um, moving speed increase is just, P, you know, PVP. I really don't even have to speak on this casting speed. Um, you know. Every 15% HP you lose, you get casting speed and, you know, movement speed. Really nice. I keep that on all the time. Uh, in the quick flash and natural harmony state, which is down here, quick notes, um, casting speed increased by 5%. So again, you get that up, little bump up in your haste. Uh, respite, this is one I do cycle out. Um, you get that 3% increase in magic. For the most part, I keep this, um, especially in the ice, but I do keep it a lot. Um, but Horn of the Sound Change is the other one I use. Uh, this is mainly my arena one, and I do cycle this out depending on if I have another bard in BGs. Um, I'll have him run that. Uh, and then maybe what the other team is running for a heal comp as well. If, there's a, if they're Reaper heavy, then I'm probably going to want to run this. But following hit with Ice Melodies, which is going to proc from using your Autumn Water. Um, and, you know, any effect from No Melody as well. Um, Target's not going to be able to heal, which is going to be great if they, if you, you know, have healers sitting on them. It's going to be more likely that your target's going to die. Um, in threes, I do swap this out for, um, however you say this, uh, Zanzu. Uh, the cooldown of Snow Memorial, which again is your ice block, uh, is reduced by 60 seconds. So again, you get to cast ice block even more. Um, anyone who played Mage and WoW will love that. Um, or I will cycle it out if I'm facing like a Berserker, Spearmaster, Reaper comp. Um, I'm going to run Thunder Control. 
uh, instead of respite. So I'll take respite off, and I'll take, um, you know, the sealer one off, put thunder control on, and I'll put snowmobile on. So I'm a little more tanky in that aspect because um, thunder control, when you cast gentle thunder, which is your CC immunity, um, targets in a four meter radius can be rendered unconscious for two seconds. So you know, again, a little extra CC. You know, for those that are looking to get away from melee heavy, so it's really good setup um, for facing them. And if you want to regenerate a little more HP, you can run clarity after snowfall. I don't personally use it. I think it's a, uh, a waste of a good glyph. Um, but you're going to be cycling these in, in and out realistically um, if you're swapping between arenas, battlegrounds, and the faction war. Um, that's just based on my opinion. Um, I'll roll two. So again, so if you want to run the, the if you want to run the thunder build, um, I would stay wise attitude. You can take this if you want longer lightning effect, um, but again, you're gonna lose that tankiness. Uh, so I would stay wise attitude and then just take lightning bolt. But just to go over the rotation really quick. So when you're gonna start a match, um, you're gonna roll in, and if you can before casting quick notes, or if you can stand still, you're gonna hit one fire song. <laughs> Okay, and then you're gonna cast Autumn Water. Or, I'm sorry, hang on. We messed that up. So you're gonna cast Fire Song, and you're gonna go right into Epic Mirror Heart and go into Lightning State. And then every time you cast Autumn Water, it's gonna give you two stacks of flowing music, which then you're gonna cast Angry Thunderclap, no Melody, and then you press the E ability twice, which is your Black River Dragon Song. So again, one, you, you. So we get two stacks, no melody. We saw our light, lightning come down. So you see, really, the power is so good. And then, if a target gets close, you know, you can back away, switch, and then hit them on the run. Drop the stun on them. Yeah, really nice in that aspect. And we'll go test it in the war over here because uh, we're standing right outside. So when you're out of combat, you can just get this nice little run. But we'll see if we can get a nice little build up on someone. So I'm gonna go into quick notes right here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fire song. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get ready to cast my no melody. So that yeah. makes that see yeah. massive damage. I don't even have all the burst. Yeah. So again, we're gonna build our stacks up to five. Kind of wait out when we're in these open world areas and kind of be a little selective on when we want to go, go in. When I saw cast it, this guy's sitting in the TV here like an idiot. Shoot, we'll build up our stats again, we'll pay attention to our cooldown. Yeah, so we're just gonna wait. I'm really wrong. Cannot uh, heart. You big damage. Big damage. Uh, Again, we're gonna attack the first as well. Uh, See, so you got people uh, running, so we're gonna chase, chase, and then no melody. Uh, Again, you, you know, it's really nice, but you can, you know, CC. You, know, you can get away. You got a real nice strong toolkit. You know, if you're grouped up with teammates cast you a little circle down here um, quick little thing to note as a bard you do have extra elixirs um, so if you open up the skill menu by pressing K you go to your elixirs um, you can have rapid healing which you can bring down here every time that you guys are drinking your potions uh, that you may buy up the store or you're crafting um, th there are little abilities that you can use so these are little heals you can use in the open world um, so I do have these down here, um, you know, rapid healing, healing. Uh, I do have hiking, which is the movement speed. Um, I have to drink more, obviously. Increased movement speed by 50%. Um, and I also, oops, let's bring that back up. I also have the Kuaying, which is your invisibility. I don't know if this works against other enemy players, but it kind of blends you into the crowd and that like people can't see you. And then people are like, what the fuck? That bar just went invisible. Hacks. Alright, um, so let's roll back up. We'll do tackle the fire PvP build. Um, I really only recommend fire, to be honest, in 
EGs. I think that's really the only time it's going to work because you, you, if someone sees you in the fireball, they're, they're just going to focus you in arenas and you're probably just going to die. So the opener is still the same. Um, oh, you know what? We'll switch these. Uh, but yeah, so you're just basically going to, you know, all in all, it's almost the same build. Uh, again, you could run, you know, the Strings of Shang or if you wanted to go with a Thunder variant uh, because, you know, the AoE... The, the fire build is actually much more crit heavy and AOE based, um, despite the ice build being very strong AOE too. Uh, but you're going to burn through more more mana or more spell force in this. Um, so wildfire is going to be your you know your basic, and then conflag is going to be you know we you knockdowns and that's going to generate your fawn notes. So you're going to generate a lot of fawn fawn notes with um, the fire build. So again, it's going to be the same. Oh, glyphs also the same. Um, don't really no different. So, again, you're gonna you know, probably most likely open up a quick note so you can cast on the move. And then you're gonna hit one, two, okay, and you can go into lightning state. Make you get that AoE. Your fourth stack. That's your angry thunder you up. No melody. We're also taking more spell for So, every time. Yeah. Alright guys, I uh you know I, I hope this helped. Uh we got to have a you know a nice little example up there. Um and you know get to queue, you know, your arenas, you know, your PvP. You know, you wanna make sure, you know, with Bard everything's like positioning and cooldown management. Uh if you don't have your cooldowns up, you should probably not take the fight if you're um in battlegrounds or in the open world. Um yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, mess me in shots um, on the Hong Kong server, the only NA server. I uh, hope this helped. Thank you.